Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can use the even function and the odd function as well as the is even and is odd function, like so. So basically, let's first look at the even function. All the even function does is it returns the next even number that is in it for a number that is given and it goes away from zero. So if it is a positive number, then it goes to the next even number um, further away from zero. And if it's a negative number, Go see the next even number further away from zero. So to show you how this works, um, because we have a positive whole 18, which is even, it goes to be 18. Next, it goes to be 45, it goes to 6, 17, it goes to 18. Negative 20 stays at negative 20. Negative 18 says at negative 18. And negative 5 is going to go away from zero, so it's going to be negative 6. And now looking at decimals, one thing to note is that it kind of just views a decimal as a part of a number and only looks at the whole number to determine if it's even or odd. So right now it's going to go to 12 and then here it's going to go to 24 because that's and then here it's going to go to 12 and then so on and so forth. And the even function does the same thing and do alt h a c to format it. So the odd function is the same thing, but instead of going away from zero to the next most even number, it goes away from zero to the most next odd number. So odd. So it's a positive number 18, so it's going to go to 19. 5 will be, say 5, 17, say 17. Negative 20, so it's going to go away from zero. Negative 21. I'm going to copy it, just paste this down. And looking at the um, negative numbers, 16, negative 11.74. Yes, this is an odd number, but it's just going to go to the next odd number, right? So it's kind of like 0.74, what's that? So negative 13, and then this goes to 25. Now the is even an is number just returns a true or false value if the number is, is even, or if the number is odd. So the is even function just is, is even, and it says, hey, if the number that is selected is true, then it is even, then it's going to return true. If a number of seconds is false, it's going to return false. So looking right here, as you can see, 18 is an even number. 5 is an odd number, so it's false. Let me just copy and paste this down. 17 is false. Negative 20, negative, 20, negative 18 are true. Um, and then as you can see, it says, look, it's only, again, looking only at the whole number. So 22.42 is is even. And 11.4 is odd. So. The is odd is the same thing, but it, instead of returning a true if even, it returns a true if odd. So it's odd. <laughs> then it's going to get false because 18 is even. And then copy and paste down. So as you can see, you know, 18 is not odd, so it's false. 5 is odd, so it's true. When we look at the whole number, 7.37 is odd, so it's true. 22 is not even so it's false it's it's um it's not odd so it's false i think it's one step further though lo looking at what it returns with the even and odd functions so is even for the e for the where the even function was used as you can see is always going to be true and is even for the for the odd function it's always going to be false likewise the is odd once you get to the odd function, it's always going to be true. It is odd. For the even number, it's always going to be false. This is beneficial because if you are writing a more complex formula where the number always has to be even or the number always has to be odd, then you can use the even function to make sure that whatever input that you have is always even. Use the odd function to make sure that the odd function is always odd. And you can use the is even and is odd function to either do some forward sort of conditional thing, um, or you can then use it as like a troubleshooting mechanism. So that's it. I hope you found this quick tutorial to be helpful. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and check out the links in the description for some free stock. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.